Hey gang, in this video we are gonna look at uh, creating the dynamic text in ArcGIS Pro and relate it with map series of ArcGIS Pro. Now let's get started with the exercise. I have already created the project of ArcGIS Pro. I have uh, also created the map series and uh, what you are supposed to, to learn in this video, there are all the text that I have displayed here they are almost all dynamic text, except some information that are static. So basically, if I switch into the next map series, into the second map series, we see that the page is changed, the information of parts that is changed, and also the coordinates are changed. The title is the same because I am using the same project. Now let's let's delete the information that I have created and let's do it from scratch. First of all I am going to create that rectangular and then I'm going to remove also one coordinate and the first thing that we are gonna do it is from the dynamic text which can be found in the insert menu always in the layout don't forget that and uh, in dynamic text I am looping through coordinates and this was the lower left so we have lower left right here we have also other coordinates and all these coordinates are all linked with map frame coordinates now let's create this coordinate lower left and if we want to change the units into metric we just right click properties we see that the dynamic text it is a kind of button which has tags and so we have a part which is static and the part which is dynamic so basically we cannot modify the dynamic text same as static text and if we click this button we see that this text has just one tag and uh, to modify the unit we go to units and we change the degree, minutes, and seconds into meters. We click OK. We see that now this coordinate is modified in easting and northing. Meanwhile, the existing one are still degree, minutes, and seconds. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do it is to display the scale bar. I'm just choosing something randomly. Now for this scale bar we need we need to, to display also the scale. Again to dynamic text. We go to map frame and we see that we have this scale function here. We can display the scale function. Done. Now we need the path the path of the project we scroll down to find the project here are the projects and uh, we have the path also the path is done now we need the title which have to be uh, linked with the name of the project so we go again to the project and we find the name and I want to remove the static text I need to have just I want to have just the title and I want a small text on top to show that this is a title now this text is differently this is a straight text not a dynamic text This is the title and I want also the date in the right corner. Let's scroll again and find the system date which will be exactly the date that you have in your computer. And I want just the date not the time and the current day, current time. I will remove everything 
and I will leave just the date and I want the day to be displayed as day, month and year. So for doing that, let's go again to dynamic text properties and uh, in the format we want it day dot month dot year. Here we go. Also the date is changed. Now we had also the pages showing on which page we are. Now if we go to dynamic text and scroll to map series, yes, we have the page number. And but we have also the page number with count. So basically I'm using this page number with count. Here we go. So we are in the page two of 13, the total number of pages. Now, the last thing that we want to add, there are the information of the parcel, which are linked with, with our shapefile, our shapefile attributes. So if we open the table of attribute, we have our attribute and we want to display attribute here, but we want to show the attribute per each where each map series different attributes. So basically this can be found in map series we have one attribute, one option attribute. So if we display the attribute, we have we, we have to choose firstly the field that we want to display. So we want to display the ID. So the ID is displayed and I want to display also the owner name and the land use and I want to have also a static text on top so I will just copy and paste the title And let's modify it to parcel information. And now let's combine the dynamic text with static. So the first one it is uh, parcel ID. Second one is owner name. And the third one land use. Here we go. So basically we have finished a very, a very basic layout with the basic information, but depends on your, depends on your map. You can, you can show a lot of other information that you have already in your, in your feature class appended in your feature class. So if now we switch to the layout number three, we see that the information are changed. Also this information is changed and also the coordinates of the corners are changed. Now this is what I wanted to discuss. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and see you in the next videos. Bye!